All right, so I started, I'm trying to make a Green Lantern costume. And what I did was I put this on somebody's body <clears throat> and I marked the areas where I think it should go with tape. I used just regular black tape like this here and I put it across here and here. And I tried to paint it, okay. I put this inside the outfit. Okay, to make it semi-tight, and then I put this over it so it won't spill over that way, like that. And I taped it onto here. I tried using this paint here, okay, and I tried putting a foundation first of white before I put the green on. As you can see from the outfit, it didn't uh, it didn't take too well. I don't know if you can see the color difference and how it looks. There. See, it doesn't look that great. You can color blotches. It didn't take too well. Now this material is 93% polyester and 7% spandex and it didn't take at all so now I'm moving on to plan number two and that's where I just cut some material out as you can see over here okay I just started it you know I, what I did is do the outline with this <clears throat> and I made my little V shape and what I did is I had to fold it down and then I after I did my measurements and I drew my lines this way I just cut it all out <clears throat> well I found a nifty way of taping and that is to put some pins as you're folding it down because the pins help you be more accurate with the with the shaping of it when you're going around, especially a curve like that. Once you got it pinned down, then you can tape it, which I realize is so much easier than just trying to tape it. Of course, you got to have cardboard underneath it to do that, as you can see. And I just, you know, use regular scotch tape, my scissors, and some pins. I might try to redo this line because it's not perfectly straight like I want it. So I'm going to take all the tape out, put it off to the side. I'll put it on the cardboard because it ruins it. I've got a little piece of plastic right there. So I just put it around so I can take it back off. And I'm going to pin it just like I did over there and then tape it and see if it comes out better. Okay, so I have it all pinned up. And what I did was just have it on the cardboard. And then I stuck the pins into the cardboard with the shirt folding. And then once it was like that, I was able to tape it. I do see something wrong right there, which I'm going to have to fix. But other than that, that's pretty much how I did it. So now that it's all taped up, I can remove the pins. And then I'll just start sewing. The tape should hold it in place. Alright, so both sides are done now. It was brought to my attention that it might be a very good idea instead of stitching it here, just take the pins out, leave the tape on it, put it on the uniform, pin it onto the uniform, and then stitch all in one shot. Alright, now I'm going to get the collar pinned up so it's all even, so I can put the leotard on it and put it together. Okay, so I unzippered it, and I spread it out, and then I folded the, the tip in up here, and pinned it, so let me bring it in, so you can see it. Okay, there's the pins, and the tape, you can tell it's folded 
inward so that way I leave enough on the top over here yeah, over here so I can sew the other outfit onto it That's it. Now I'll just take the pins out and get ready to put the other uniform on my subject and start taping or sewing, I should say. Okay, so I'm pin the green leotard to the outfit while it's on the subject. And we put the emblem on. It's only a iron-on emblem. And we picked up at Walmart. The pins, and what I gotta do next is put a line down the center and cut it for the zipper, and then attach it to the zipper, and that's it. It's pinned onto the uniform. We got it cut, and all I have to do is what I'll do is I fold this over like this, then put little flaps in like this, and hold it down with pins, and then tape it like I did all the others. This way, have a nice smooth crease. Now do it on both sides, and then after that, I can pin it onto the to the uniform. I take all the little pins out, and I can pin it onto the uniform, and then line everything up and stitch it, and then that should be it. That should be all sewn. Okay, so I pinned up the seams. And I taped them on the inside. Let you get a closer look at that. You can see how I did it. I flipped it inside out and, and I just did the same. Of course, the same thing the other side. All the way up. All the way down. Now I can take the pins out because the tape's holding it in place. And now I can sew everything onto the uniform. Alright, just so you can get an idea of what I'm doing. I'm pretty much just going linear with this stitch. <clears throat> and I already did it all up to here. So I've got this much more to go. And I figured, I'll just show you real quick what I'm doing. I kind of pull it and make sure that this is behind that behind the leotard then I just put it in make sure you have something you don't hurt your fingers then I just lift up on the outfit grab it from the bottom and pull and make sure it's flush and then I flip it over and right where the thread came out through I put the needle back into it spot well as close as I can and then make sure it comes through close to the line that you have on the inside like so close enough just pull it out and then you just keep doing the same thing over and over it gets monotonous but it's got to be done this is for the neck piece too. So I'll just keep going. I gotta make sure it is taken too. If you see a knot like that, you can always just back it out and try to fix it. Because you want it to be flush. I should have checked before I put the other needle in. comes out from. Get it close to where your line is on the back. And 
I try to make them about a half an inch apart. It seems to be getting more difficult as the string gets smaller here. Put this on my cord before it uh, before I start putting it through the other side. Now I just gotta untangle it. That's it, you just keep going until you're at the end, until you're at the end, you kind of want to loop it across this so it's tight, and then you're done. Alright, so, I stitched up by the zipper, as you can see on both sides, so that part's done, and the neckline is all stitched, let's see, yeah, like that. So, all this is done, and all that left to do now is stitch, stitch up the two sides, the shoulder pads, and then the back. Those are the easy parts, and then this outfit will be done. Okay, so right now we're installing neon green LED wire strip lighting, and what we're doing is we're taking thread, you can either choose green or you can choose black, whatever you prefer, it doesn't matter. But the idea is to thread it through and attach it to the uniform on the outer rim of the uniform all the way around it. Um, it's a lot of uh, stitching to do, but it'll look really nice. Alright, so the boots now, they're done. My sister sewed them for me. She stitched them up, okay. Um, I'm sure there's YouTube videos that shows you how to do this stuff. I had her do it because I don't know how to do it. But, here's the boot, okay? One thing I do know how to do, though, is buy material from some kind of dollar place and get this fabric material that's usually rolled up into, it's rolled up like this. It's what they usually look like in the store. You know, okay, I'm sure you've seen these before. It's like a like a rubbery mesh. I picked black out, they got white and they had different colors. And all I did was cut out a piece like this. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take fabric glue. Okay. This is E6000 fabric glue. Okay. And all I do is glue the bottom of the shoe. Okay. Like this. And then I just put it on the fabric, and it's got to sit overnight, like that. And then that's it. So, let me start by doing that. Okay, and I just use any old sneakers. That's it, and just do the same thing with the other one. <laughs> 